Welcome to the math review. This question says, find the value of 3 fifths divided by 7 tenths. Now this is a straightforward division of fractions question. And whenever you have a question like this, you really should make sure you understand that you have to use KCF. So remember that KCF stands for keep, change, flip. When we say keep, we mean this fraction here, we're gonna keep it exactly as it is. So since we have three over five, we're going to keep that three over five. The C stands for change, and we're going to change division into multiplication. And the F stands for flip. So here we have seven over 10, we're going to flip it to become 10 over seven. And don't worry about the fact that it's an improper fraction, that doesn't matter at all. So now we have three over five times 10 over seven. And since it's a multiplication of fractions problem, it's not too bad, we can just multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms and then we're basically done. So we've got three times 10 is equal to 30. and five times seven is equal to 35. So our answer so far is 30 over 35. And the reason why I say so far is because this is a fraction that can be reduced. And I'm just gonna rewrite it over here so we have a little bit more space to show how it's going to get reduced. So what we need to do is find out what the greatest common factor is of 30 and 35. Basically, what's the biggest number that can divide both the top and the bottom? Well, that's five. So we're gonna divide 30 and 35 by five. Thirty divided by five equals six and 35 divided by five equals seven. So our final answer is six over seven. Now this problem wasn't too bad, but I also wanna go over a method that might be helpful. It's something I like to call cross cancellation. And here's how it works. So let's go back to this point after we've already kept the first fraction change the division to multiplication, and flipped our second fraction, the divisor, from seven over 10 to 10 over seven. Once we get to this point, let me zoom in a little bit. So once we're at this point, we look diagonally across at the fractions and we look to see if there's any way we can divide both of those numbers by the same number. That way we don't have to reduce later on. It might sound tricky, but it's actually a lot of work earlier, so you have less work later. So let's take a look at three and seven. Three and seven, there's nothing that can divide both three and seven, so we don't have to worry about canceling there. Those numbers will stay the same. Here we've got five and 10 though. We've got five and 10, and both five and 10 can be divided by five. Five divided by five will be one. So I'll put that one here. And 10 divided by five, remember you have to divide by the same number, 10 divided by five is going to be two. So I'll cross that off and I'll make that a two. So now here are our new fractions. We now have three over one, I'll write that here, times two over seven. Now because we cross canceled, we don't have to worry about reducing later on. We can just multiply the values. We've got three times two, which is equal to six, and one times seven, which equals seven. So we'll still get the same exact answer, but since we did a little bit of extra work earlier on, it means that there's less work to do at the very end. Thanks for watching our video on the math review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. 
we might use your question in our next video. And if you found this lesson helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And it would really help if you share this and our other videos to any of your social media platforms. See you next time on The Math Review.